T minus 60 seconds and counting. You Make It, We Mock It is a series where we give our viewers the opportunity to become aeronautic engineers. These viewers are allowed to use their imagination and creativity to come up with unusual shapes and materials in their designs. We then accelerate their concepts to over 1,000 miles per hour and record it on a high-speed camera. The high-speed camera doesn't lie and the results are often surprising and impressive. This scientific and educational video contains no prohibited items including firearms. Hi everyone, this is Jeff. Today's user-created concept combines three different materials, brass, steel, and wood. This was designed and built by our good friend Sartal of Israel, who happens to be a candy maker by profession and enjoys machining on the side. This hand-built prototype does resemble a knob or perhaps a cam follower. The steel stud sticking out the back is supposed to act more or less like a stabilizer tail. This in theory will keep it flying straight and true without any spin stabilization. But what I find really fascinating is the use of the wood, which is kind of a semi-sabo, and it'll be really interesting to see how well that wood will withstand the 12,000 PSI impulse during acceleration. Now, so people won't be confused, there are two variants of these, one with a short tail and one with a long tail. We'll test the short ones first, and we'll be able to see if there's a difference. Got to use the uh, the vacuum accelerator uh, device. Yes. Can't can't use a firearm at all, Ob for obviously reasons because uh, logic that we haven't yet figured out yet. But I tasted one of these rounds too. They are not as good as the cinnamon. I keep forgetting to bring the candy out to you. The candy rounds are friggin' awesome. Yeah. This brass round, I tasted one, not good. Yeah, I chipped my tooth on it. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. 15 yards. Here we go. Woo! All right, here comes the projectile. Again, this is a reminder that this is the short tail version. Surprisingly, it's very stable in flight. It just starts to yaw a little bit near the end there, but it's still very accurate. Now, you may have also noticed the two halves of the Sabo unit flying along with it. Uh, that was a surprise to me because I really predicted that the wood would just shatter. So it's, he must have used a pretty high quality wood there. Well, we actually found a piece of the wood that I thought would have no chance of coming out in one piece. That's one half of it. The wood was lodged here in Jeff's hairy block. <laughs> hairy gel. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> so half of it, and then we found the uh, brass cylinder with the bolt at the top Isn't of that the wild? Kevlar and completely unblemished. I mean there's little marks on it but yeah you could reload that thing right now. Yeah I can't tell what's going on as far as in the high-speed camera yet. I gotta get home and review that and see what the heck. You need a high-speed eyeball. I know well I need better vision. I <laughs> Tesla coil is still charging up. I'm going to aim the accelerator at that little black dot that says shoot here. Okay, I got you. I'm ready. We got an, an, an angle for your safety. Online and off. I'm ready. Okay, here comes the comet again with the short tail. It was yawing around a little bit, but it seemed to stabilize itself a little bit near the end there. Of course, we can't really predict how the attitude of the slug would have changed at further distances. But not bad, not bad at all. And this is 45 feet away. I aimed the mass accelerator at this black dot. It hit a little bit high, went down range. You could see. Oh, it just shattered the brass. Two wow. big pieces I'm of the brass. Surprised any of it stayed in there. There's actually more of it embedded down in that hole. Wow. Way. And then out in front of the uh, table, about three or four feet. Quit moving around. Found, there you go. I found a little bolt. The little bolt. Okay. So that's, that's a, that's a heck of a crater there, Saul. Yeah, yeah. Vacuum cannon is at maximum vacuumage. <laughs> Release the hounds. Maximum, maximum suck rate has been reached. <laughs> <laughs> 
Max maximum suckage. <laughs> okay, water jug. I'm ready. Okay, here comes the last of the short tail comets. Again, we have really good stability. That really tells us a lot uh, that he found the right center of gravity, the balance and everything is just right. Um, very impressive results for not having any type of spin stabilization. Okay, they're expired apples. Don't worry, people. These were recalled recently due to that big, uh, uh, whatever, Is they actually Apple sprayed commission? DDT on these. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here comes the first long tail version. As you can see, it's completely unstable. The accuracy is way off. He was aiming at the very center of all three of those apples, just so you know. So that gives you an idea just how a, a little bit of a shift in the center of gravity can really throw things off. Okay, everything's rolling. Ears, eyes, vacuum chamber. When you're ready. Tesla coil charged. I'm, I'm ready. I have a really hard time seeing what is going on in this shot, but uh, it looked like it was stable and somewhat accurate. I don't even know. Is that a blueberry? Something from the caveman. <laughs> Evidently to text you have to push a, a letter key like five times to get it. Oh wow, look at that. So uh, Oh you spelled out Ted to you. Yeah, I spelled it out right there. That's the guy who sent that That's to me. That's the app. <laughs> Ted, Ted Talk app. So um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of use for these anymore, this blueberry, so we're going to send it down range and we're going to introduce it to uh, one of Sartal's brass slugs and see how they react. When you're ready, come on. I'm ready. Hit it. Tal Flater, folks, if you go to your app store, you'll be able to download the uh, OG Finger Wiggle app. <laughs> It I looks can, like a finger coming out of your phone in yeah. three dimensions. Right. So Ooh, in, in between, it's creepy. In between Tough Later Mouse videos, you can have your own finger wiggle app. <laughs> so the round hit just a, a little slightly to the left, uh, knocked all of Look the at all that. knocked all of the text right out of the all back the, of this. All thing. the gigabytes out of it. This is the actual bolt that went through there. Ding. I don't know it, what direction it was going. Well, after it hit the phone. Whatever direction it was going when it hit the phone, we don't know, but it did hit the vest this direction because well, it, I found it. It probably began tumbling right away at, at, upon impact. Yeah. So I found the bolt actually embedded into the Kevlar, and you can see this time, first time ever, it actually bent the bolt. Look at so. that. It still had a lot of energy. That's... I'm going to take this back to the cricket store. <laughs> Get a refund. So, hey, there's a brass bolt in my phone. <laughs> Obama All right, this is the last of the long tails. Uh, not bad stability. It, it starts to kind of correct itself near the end there, and we see a little flash of the screen there. That's kind of interesting. All in all, I am very impressed with the performance of the comets. The short tail version definitely was a more stable version than the long tail. Sar was really thinking outside the box here using wooden sabos and a design of the projectile that is kind of unproven. Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Also, thank you Patreon supporters for your continued support.